Well, good morning my YouTube friend, it's Margaret again from Emmy's Orchids and uh, look at the temperatures. 25.7 C outside. It went down to 4 C last night. 46% humidity outside. In here it is 19.2, it was 17 point whatever this morning and it was 48% humidity. Now I've had the humidifier on for an hour but only on the low setting but we're still only up to 53%. So these are the days. Now as you know I have always got this little window open and I only shut, well I can't shut it because it's wood and um, if, if, if we're predicted to have real easterly winds that come through this window, this crack in this window, can you see? That crack in that window, if we're due to have those easterlies then I have to, um, I have to pack that. But at the moment, um, the temperatures, we can deal with this. So this is why I always say I grow hot in the winter and I grow intermediate spring and summer and the reason being is of course we're south facing here but um, we have the central heating on. Now of course with temperatures outside like that and our thermostats in the hall um, then of course the, uh, the thermostat doesn't kick in so um, at the moment there's no heating on in the house at all but it, it, it's, it's quite pleasant here in the grow room because of course as you can see we've got full sun. Now what I'm wanting to just talk about but let me just see if I can alter the camera well put it on its tripod so hold on. Before I take these phalaenopsis and uh, We'll look at each individual one. Um, I thought I'd just um, give you a view of them. Now, I've got them on this uh, um, shelving horizontally. And um, they're all complex, no IDs. They were not expensive. This was the expensive one, the one I'm showing you now. And this is the one, this is the, um, sorry, this is the Mother's Day gift and I named this um, Dougal. This one is blotchy. This is a new one. This one was £8. And I've called that one Ruby Lips. This is a new one. This one I've called Bucks Fizz and of course that's Flossy. So let me now, um, let's have a look at each one. Right, sorry about that. I don't know if you'll see me. What I thought I'd do is try and um, just bring the camera just a little bit closer in a minute and um, and then bring you down so you can see uh, the tray here. So these complex hybrids, um, I mean Dougal, the white one, was £26, well what a penny, and that's expensive. The others are from the supermarket and they're only £8 each. So, um, but they're the hardest, they're the most difficult to transition into um, your grow room. I mean, as you can see, um, I've had many a, an attempt and um, some of them are still struggling. But I don't give up. Um, the, one of the problems is when they're imported uh, from Europe um, is that usually not, not everyone because uh, Ruby Lips didn't have a plug um, but all the others had this moss peak plug 
and uh, that's the grown from seedling. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, the, usually, the um, either the nurseries, and I'm not talking about orchid nurseries, you know, but just um, nurseries that sell potted plants, um, have them too wet, or the supermarkets drown them. And uh, so by the time you get them open, they're already stressed. And you've got to somehow unstress them, uh, which can be quite difficult. Um, now Dougal, I'll, I'll do Dougal first. Uh, Dougal um, went into shock and it dropped virtually all its flowers. Um, so I'll just get up now and um, we'll pick Dougal out first. But let me just see what I'm wanting to do is just to get you a little bit nearer. So just hold on. This is the nearest I can get you. Thank you. 
going to be able to put this tripod on my leg. Oh Right, I've had to change legs. So I've got this tripod now on the left leg. And I thought, how am I going to do this? Because the light was catching it the other way. It is still catching it, but I think this is at a better angle. And as I'm right handed, then I can reach for the other phalaenopsis. Now, here we go, you see. Um, now, Dougal is a Mother's Day gift from my son and his name's Douglas. So I thought Dougal was quite an appropriate name. Now it, it has gone through a little bit of um, stress, a little bit of dehydration. Can you see with the leaves, a few little wrinkles. Uh, and that's because um, it had a brilliant root system, believe it or not, but um, after, now when did I get this, just all wrong, when did I get this? Uh, 9th of February. And um, I had it in a bigger container. Um, so after about a fortnight, I checked it. And um, you can see the roots down there. This was watered yesterday and um, we've got at least one hydrating root down there. Um, and then it, I had to repot it again into this pot. Now you can see those roots there. They're not brilliant are they? Um, but it does hydrate and it's sat under this fan. Um, which dries them out quite quickly, which I'm pleased about. So let's just have a look at Dougal now, and then. Right. Now Dougal had got seven um, of these flowering inflorescences. And I've cut one, two, three, four off, and there were five. But look. I know it's all right now, but I've still not got to overwater. And the reason being is we're only in March and we might have lovely warm weather outside. But in here, the, my temperatures have dropped slightly. And we've got a, can you just see there now? A new inflorescence starting. A branching one. I knew this one branched because... Um, off those other little um, inflorescences before, a lot of them were branching. And can we see that one? There. This one here. That's also branching. There. And if we go down to the end, that's a lovely, perfect little flower. Look, perfect in every detail. And look, started to extend with these little buds. And if we go to the other side, we can see we've got one or two just dying back. But look, tucked underneath there. There. Oh, come here. There. 
we've got another brooch coming off that one. So although this one's feeling a little bit um, distressed, I think Dougal's going to be fine. It will pick up um, and I will I probably have to, um, instead of only watering this once a week, this one will probably have to be watered twice in a week. So let's put Dougal back. Now the next one we're going to pick out is Blotchy. Now this is Blotchy. Can you see? And okay, so we've lost we've lost um, one or two blooms off. Uh, let me just see if I can. Block she wants to just waddle about in its pot. There you see. That one wants to face the wrong way. So. We've got one inflorescence and off that one inflorescence we have um, it branching. Now, this one doesn't like to stand up for some reason. Let me just bring you up and then I'll just release this. There we go. But you see, can you notice there, we've got a little extension coming there and we might have a little extension coming there. So I'm going to have to um, just put you back on my knee now. And then, hold on, get you in the right place. So you're nice and snug. And let's have a look at this. Now, this was watered again yesterday. Now, have you noticed? Let me just push this down a little bit. This should come out. Oh, hold on. What I don't want it to do is fall off. Hold on. Now blotchy's in this, um, see what I mean? I have to be so careful with this one. Hold on. What I'm going to do is tie it onto the cane. The thing was, the cane moved then. And let me just put her in this other pot as well. But what I wanted to say was, let me see the roots there. And the roots go all the way down to the bottom. But if you've noticed with this one, I've got the uh, the actual roots just a little bit proud of the media. Simply because I want them to be able to dry out. I mean, at the bottom of this pot, I've got um, grow stone. So... Um, Put it back in this outer pot. See, this one stands in three pots. And then I'll put it back into this one. And then she doesn't get moved now until the next watering. Okay, this is now, this is a new one I'm going to show you now. And I'm going to lift her out of this little pot she's in. And this was purchased only few days ago, 3rd of March. This is, again, this came from a supermarket and this is the one I've called Ruby Lips. This had an awful root system. No plug, but an absolutely terrible root system. So I've had to put her 
in this type of pot. Because basically, can you see the roots there? Th those are the roots that she's got. Not many. Um, 3rd of March, it's the 9th, so they've had her six days now. Let me see. And she's been watered once in six days, and that was yesterday. So um, she's got quite a nice um, structure to her, the way she's growing, and I quite like that. And her blooms are quite nice. That's why I've called her ruby lips, because really her lips are ruby coloured. And she's got buds there, and we've got another bud, two buds, coming through there. And the beauty of these little pots is that she just, the twist, and the pot is nice and secure. So I should be able to, I'm not going to put it back just for a second because I don't want to jolt you. Now, this is the other new one. Now this is supposed to be a mini. Well, you tell me if that's a mini with the size of those leaves. When you've just looked at uh, ruby lips, how can that be a mini? Now, this was bought from the same supermarket the day before. The one I should have picked up, I'd already got the name for it. And when and I thought, I wish I'd picked it up now. You should never do that, you know. If you think to yourself, oh, I'd like to take two. I mean, it's eight pounds. I should have taken two, but I didn't. So I went back the next day and all I'd got left was ruby lips. So, really, it's my own fault. But there, now look at that. Look at that. And look at this. Oops, look at these for look at these for blooms. Abs and she's full of them. She's got branching. Oops, hold on. Just knocked a little bit of bark out of her. If you don't mind, I'll just pick it up off the carpet. And let's have a look. Our roots go right down to the bottom, so I'm not going to pull I'm not going to pull this one out of the pot because her roots go all the way down. But this one shows no, absolutely no signs of distress at all. And I've had this one seven days, look at that. I mean, they know ID, so that's why I give them a name. Why not? And, see, we've got these coming here. And we've got those there, and we've got a multitude coming here. I've got one just starting to split open there. So this is another one. Now, like I say, this is definitely not a mini. This is definitely not a mini, because a mini, I mean, these others, ruby lips may be a mini, but these others, I wouldn't say the minis. They might be middies, the next size up, but they're certainly not minis. Um, let's hope they don't grow too big, because I mean, I've got a little mini up there, mounted, and that's just like um, ruby lips. So there you see, these are dry on the top now, and am I worried? No. So let's put you back now on my knee see about the next one. Right, so this one's flossy. This is another one. Um, this was bought 2nd of February, so this was bought the same time as uh, Blotchy. Uh, this was £8 and um, it's doing lovely. It's it was watered yesterday. I've got this one a little bit further down in the pot. Only because it's a little bit top heavy. And uh, 
I've got three inflorescences coming from this one. And this again is just potted in bark and um, grow stones at the bottom. Now, you see, you see this one? It's just a little bit limp. Really. Um, let's see how this other leaf, this one here, that was the damage I, that it came with. Um, but look, got a little tiny extension there. You see, they are like little mini flowers, look. Can you see? So the flowers are many, but I'm not so sure the actual orchid is a mini. Because look, that's a bigger bloom and that was opened um, earlier. And we take around to this side. So as they grow, um, we start off with the larger ones and then we come back to these little tiny ones and we might have a little bud developing there so and I have them all on this wall here let me put them back now of course the temptation is to um, water them stand up now. But there were water yesterday and because we're having lovely bright days but very very cool nights these can't be wet. These have got to be able to dry out during the daytime and then maybe um, come Friday I'll be able to uh, check them over and see whether they need some more water then. So the biggest killer for these complex hybrids is that moss peat plug, get rid of that and then just gradually, slowly introduce them to water and fertiliser but don't rush. Thank you for joining me. This is a dendrobium there. A dendrobium no ID nobly so that means I've got space for one more beautiful phalaenopsis. Now take care and I'll be back soon. Bye bye now.